guys welcome back to my channel it's meal prep Sunday again as always check the description box for links to everything meal prepping so I'm starting today's meal prep off by cooking some brown jasmine rice since I knew it was gonna take about 45 minutes to cook I like to cook my brown rice and vegetable broth it gives it just that little bit of extra flavor so while this was cooking I went ahead and started pulling out all my food items and meal prep containers to get ready for meal prepping so next up is to work on vegetables that I'm going to need for salads and dinner recipes through the week. I bought several different types of salad greens to use for salads. Uh, first up is some kale, which I am taking the stems off and then cutting up pretty finely. I had a subscriber to give me a tip to massage the kale, so I did that after chopping it up. I'll be putting half of this kale in my salad spinner and the other half I will work with later. Next up is some green leaf lettuce, which I chopped off chopped up and half went into the salad spinner with the kale and then the rest I just put aside. Finally I have some romaine lettuce and repeat the process as with the other greens. So I'm adding, I added some water to the bowl to rinse up the lettuces really well, which I did rinse them before. I started chopping them up but I just wanted to get everything rinsed up really well. Drain the water and then spun the extra moisture out. I love this salad spinner. I'm going to be going to put the greens into a Ziploc bag with a paper towel. This just helps with any extra moisture that may be in there. And this will make it stay fresh all week. I'm not even kidding you guys. So I'm going to repeat the process again with the rest of the greens. I just want to do two separate bags so that way one just was left unopened through the week just to ensure that I had fresh salad through the entire week. So now I need to start working on cutting up some vegetables for a vegetable barley soup I'm going to be making for dinner one day this week. So I need carrots, celery, and onion for this. So I'm just gonna chop those up and they will be ready for me to go. And I'm also going to be making a stuffed pepper casserole for which I need some peppers and onions. So I'll chop those up and so then the day I make that for dinner it'll be all ready to go and make dinner so much easier to make. So as, as usual, I'm also going to cut up some green onions and red onions that I'll use for salads. So next up, I am working on some breakfast sandwiches for the family. I'm going to be using these double fiber English muffins, which I will toast up in the toaster. And then I tried a hack that I saw on Pinterest to make the eggs. Um, it's using mason jar lids to make the eggs. So I have greased my pan and the insides of the rings. And then I am just cracking one egg into each of the lids. Then it said to take a plate and place it on top and then cook it for four minutes like that. I checked it after four minutes. It still was not cooked at all. So I increased the heat a little bit and it ended up taking about six minutes total. And then it showed them taking out of the pan using like a flat like pancake turner and removing the lids from the egg. As you can see, the yolk is still quite runny, and, but all the white is cooked, which is the part that I care about. So when I was trying to remove them from the pan, one of them flipped over, which you may have seen in the background, which maybe isn't a bad thing because at least both sides got cooked. But I probably wouldn't cook them this way again, but it was probably me, probably not the hack. It probably works just fine. So I'm taking some of this 
great value turkey sausage from Walmart and I'm adding that to the English muffin and then topping it with one of the eggs and then a slice of this ultra thin sharp cheddar cheese from Sargento. So I'm gonna wrap them up and then I will also store them in a Ziploc bag. These sandwiches freeze really, really well, but they will be gone in a couple days, so I don't need to put mine in the freezer. So next up, I'm gonna work on my lunch meal preps. I'm gonna be making a creamy garlic cauliflower risotto type of recipe. I'm gonna be using this entire bag of cauliflower pearls, plus I did have a bag of frozen cauliflower that I didn't show you that I cooked in the microwave. So both of these need to be cooked. I cooked the pearls in the microwave and the other one. So you're gonna to wanna to save two cups of the cauliflower rice to mix in with the brown rice that I already cooked earlier. Now I'm gonna take the remaining rice cauliflower and put it in my blender with just some vegetable broth to make it all nice and creamy. So just blend it until it's all creamy. And then meanwhile, I'm gonna take a tablespoon of light butter and put it in a pan and add in some minced garlic. I never measure garlic. I use probably about two, teeping, two heaping tablespoons. Once that has sauteed for a minute or so, I'm adding in the brown rice cauliflower mixture and stirring that all up and then I'm gonna to top it with the creamy cauliflower sauce. And then you wanna go ahead and stir that up again, and then you wanna add in a half of a cup of a fat-free mozzarella cheese, so or any kind of cheese that you wanna use. Now I get a lot of questions on how I measure out serving sizes for recipes like this, so I'm gonna show you how I do that. I'm gonna take a large bowl, put it on top of my scale, make sure it's zeroed out, and then I'm gonna change the unit to grams because I feel like grams is easier to work with. Now I'm gonna weigh the entire recipe of the risotto. And so it weighed out to 1,330 grams. Now the recipe is six servings, and so I'm just gonna divide that by six, which will give me about 221.6 grams. So I'm gonna zero out the scale again so I can remove the serving of rice from the bowl. The scale will show a minus sign as you remove things from the bowl, and I'm just gonna remove that until I get to minus 221. I couldn't get exactly the right serving, and so it's just off by just a tiny bit. It's actually under by a little bit. I use this method for pretty much any casserole or soup type recipe that's hard to measure out. So I'm gonna be grilling up some chicken for dinner tonight, so I'm gonna make extra for my meal prep containers, so that's what's gonna go on the other side of these meal prep containers. So next up, I'm gonna make some hard-boiled eggs that I'll be using for my other two lunches for the week, which will be snack boxes. I'm gonna be making some roll-ups using this lunch meat, some Greek yogurt cream cheese, and some pickles. So you just wanna take your lunch meat and carefully spread one tablespoon of the cream cheese on top, and then add your pickle. Make sure you dry your pickle really well so it doesn't get soggy, for your entire roll-up doesn't get soggy. So I'm gonna do three for each container. And then also to these containers, I'm gonna add a cheese stick, a hard boiled egg, and then an unsweetened applesauce cup. And then with the day I have this for lunch, I will also have a serving of these Good Thins veggie crackers. Okay, so I'm also prepping some dinner too. And besides like the vegetables I was chopping, so I am doing some chicken that I'm gonna have for dinner tonight. And then I will just grill up all of it. And then this will be what I'll have in my lunch meal prep containers as well to have a few days this week. This is a marinade I'm using. I've never used this one before. So I just make it how it is on the back here. And I used apple cider vinegar instead of red wine vinegar. And then I am also cooking up a big pot of pinto beans for my husband to have throughout the week. Okay guys, so my meal prep is done. <clears throat> First, I get a lot of questions like, what does my kitchen look like when I'm done? So yes, I have a sink full of dishes here. Over there, I have a big mess that I need to clean up. Let me show you what I ended up with. So here is the cauliflower rice, like risotto, creamy garlic cauliflower, whatever it's called. Then I will have grilled chicken in here after I make that tonight when I make dinner. I have the green onions that I will just have on salads and whatnot. Then this is the rest of that cauliflower rice dish that I'll have for side dishes tonight. I have the celery and onion that'll be for the soup, the vegetable barley soup. And that's what the rest of this is for too, for the celery and carrots. Then I have my salad mix here for salads this week. The breakfast sandwiches are all done. And then these onions are gonna be for the stuffed pepper casserole as well as all these peppers. Then I have the red onion that'll be for salads. And then here's my snack boxes for lunch two times this week. So I have the roll-ups, the cheese, 
applesauce and hard boiled egg. And then I have some carrots. So then I have my um, snack bins for my refrigerator. So I have the carrots here, a couple hard boiled eggs, and then there'll be something else here, but I'm going to be put, filming that in a separate video. So it's another fall recipe video. So that's what'll be in the rest of this. Yogurt, applesauce, guacamole, and some cheese. So that is the prep for today. And thank you all for watching and please subscribe if you have not already done so. I will have recipes linked in the description box for all the meals I'm having this week. And I will talk to you all soon. Bye guys. Thank you.